What's up, Muscular Development? Steve Kukolo, Dan Newmeyer, Big Lou. We're all uh, hitting arms today. Excited. We're 16 weeks out of the 50th anniversary of Mr. Olympia. Arms, we got. We're all about buying with arms. You won't see crazy weights get thrown around. Um, not always curling 100 pound dumbbells or close grip benching four or 500 pounds, which every once in a while we'll do. But you know, with ours, we we get the best gains. Gains, gains, the raw, the five gains, gains, bro. <laughs> yeah. We get the best gains if we you know work proper form, do a lot of volume. You know, we probably got a total between buys and tries uh, close to 24 sets, maybe a little bit more. Um, did a few unique things in in the workout. We superset advice, tries the whole workout. At the very end, we did some occlusion training where it's, we kept our hands above our heart to use gravity against itself where you're kind of preventing the blood to circulate more efficiently and, and it creates more of a lactic acid burn and, and when you stop the set, it ultimately like floods the muscle with blood and you get a, a bigger pump. Come on, Steve. Good, come on. Good. Some of the people were commenting, uh, Nick, the, our cameraman, is saying that I look different. And I guess sitting about 290 and continually to grow right now, I got probably the next four weeks to continue to fill out a little bit. And everything feels good. All the joints feel good. I, I'm not, you know, I'm not babying any injuries. So, you know, being able to train hard and eat well, and, and I mean, I'm eating every two, three hours, eating probably six, 700 grams of carbs a day. Um, you know, I flood my body pre, post workout with amino acids, which is from the Evagen products, the EVP and the Cell Chem, and I use a lot of glycogen, which is the carbohydrate based product that uh, really helps fuel my workouts and, and recovery. So using all those right now, we're helping volumize. That's kind of the, the plan Hani and I have right now, is just volumize everything and get as, as big as I can before we have to come down. Dan did a lot of the work, to, the, the choosing of exercises today, so I'll let him kind of talk about a little bit of what we picked today and why maybe. Um, so the exercise that I specifically, I guess I chose, um, did a, a version of a, I don't want to call them spider curls, I don't know the term directly, but we did some um, essentially spider work. Spider curls are uh, hanging curls um, off the a creature curl on the back end, basically isolate the shoulder, um, more bicep action in it for all those of us who need it and those of us who don't. Um, so we, we trained that, we, we kind of jumped around and did a bi tri action, trying to do some um, uh, supersetting as far as getting both of those uh, muscle groups in together, um, as far as antagon antagonistic in both sets. So jump from there, we did. Um, uh, a tricep extension, uh, just a standing with a, I guess our back against that pad to again eliminate cheating. Um, again, I'm, I think we're all big proponents on form here. It's just trying to keep the sloppiness down as much as possible. Focus more on form and control. Um, as you can see, a lot of Steve's videos um, and even from Lou from that now, these guys are really good at training. Really trying to focus on the actual movement instead of just moving weight. Anybody can just move weight, and there's a lot of strong guys out in this world. But it comes down to almost an efficiency aspect. So. that where we jump to incline I think the hammer curl we're, um, just again trying to uh, some different stuff isolating uh, trying to keep the muscle working while trying to eliminate the shoulders uh, these two gentlemen uh, like to do a lot of shoulder activity and a lot of exercises um, so we just try to eliminate shoulders again that's part of the idea is trying to get more uh, the muscle group we're trying to attack instead of uh, synergistically pulling in other muscle groups with the movement Four hours. Uh. Again, you can see the weights. They're not too impressive. You know, we're not doing 700 pounds behind the neck. Uh, my elbows over the years have gotten pretty taxed, and some of those tricep movements are not very much fun um, sometimes. But we did, we did that movement, went back and forth with that combination with that. Then we headed over to we did some more high volume stuff on the seated uh, curl machine and at a dip machine. Uh, again, we did chest the other day, really sore and beat up from that, so we tried to eliminate as much of it, the, 
uh, vectoralis uh, muscle group trying to play a role in the movement. So uh, kind of sat a little bit forward on the dip machine to let the tricep play a little bit more in that game or in that exercise. So we com combine those two with a pronated curl on top of that. A lot of volume, as you guys can see, as Steve alluded to earlier. <laughs> set straight, no break, or like I said, about, or no, I'd say no break, but about 10 to 20 second break in between set on both sides, tricep and bicep, and it's pretty taxing at the end of that. So as you can see, volume sets, drop sets, um, uh, antagonistic muscle groups back and forth, and a lot of bullshitting and joking. So, <laughs> bullshitting. So um, that's pretty much our workouts, you know. And it, as Steve starts turning up his uh, gas, or starts going faster, start, you know, the intensity kind of goes up as far as training. Joking goes down a little bit um, because it's, it's a limited mode. So he's got about four more weeks to where he's feed, got the feedback on, he's eating, and we're just going to keep on. We're going to kick him and make sure he's there, but we'll start getting a little more serious. Joking maintains, but we're going to uh, turn up the gas because, again, Steve has to beat Arnold Brazil. So and there's going to be no excuses. He's got to beat it. So that's all there for that. Let's do it, man. We're 16 weeks out. Um, you know, excited to get some footage as we continue this, you know, journey and this prep for the Mr. Olympia 2014. And excited, man! I got two awesome training partners. I got a great support system. You know, with the muscular development and Eva Jen and, and everybody that does support me, my fans. You guys are the greatest. Um, you know, and looking forward to get on the stage. So stay tuned. We got Steve Kuplo, Dan, Lou. We're knocking it out here at uh, Destination Dallas, Texas, Arm Day, 16 weeks out of Mr. Olympia. Do it.